Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the latitude and longitude coordinates from any address like the text address in your Android app. And we will not be using the Google Maps activity, we will use the simple uh, layout and we will use the something called a geocoder API for this. So you can name the app anything, I will say get latitude longitude coordinates from okay this is pretty long uh, name of the app you should not keep such a long name but just wanted to just show that uh, this is what it will do it will get the coordinates from the address we'll use the latest api uh, 30 uh, uh, i mean 31 uh, we'll wait for the id to load up once the id loads up uh, i will first and foremost make the layout you don't have to even give the permissions and uh, do anything in the manifest file because you will not need uh, access to the location uh, in your app or anything. It's just a simple uh, geocoder API which we'll use. So in the layout, uh, what we'll do is we'll first uh, probably add a button which will trigger the function call and we'll name, okay, I'll give the constraints and I'll name it as get uh, coordinates or latitude, like, uh, latitude, uh, longitude, whatever. So, yeah, and what else? We will also need a text, plain text to enter the address. Uh, okay, so it could be like the name of the city or place where you want to look for the address. So, the text, probably I will not use a text here and I will use something called as hint. Yeah, so this should contain the address and there is something as uh, some error so i'll just fix it. it it's asked me to increase the size that's fine and in this uh, text view we can probably print our output so we'll just names or give it an id so that we can capture it uh, or we can uh, refer to it in our main java code to print our uh, coordinates Okay, so I think more or less from the layout perspective is done. There are few warnings, but I'll just ignore for the time being and go here. In the Java code, first and foremost, I will make sure that I create the respective objects for edit text and also I think for the text view. Text view. I think in the top, I forgot to give the name of the variable, no problem. And here for edit text, find you by id r dot id dot edit text i think this is the one uh, which is there i'll just go back to t and check yeah so edit text text person name i don't know why it comes that way but yeah and this one is text view so this is done and then i will use the text view find you by id r dot id dot text view perfect so once we have the reference to our uh, all the widgets in the layout or probably what I'll do I'll also create an empty method probably button get coordinates view view and I'll uh, associate it with this button on click attribute so if you scroll down there should be something called as on click attribute and here you can associate it with this so whenever this button is clicked this particular method will be called so this is the main method which we will uh, we will do our coding here and in this get coordinates first and foremost we will get the or we will create object called geocoder this could be new geocoder and this could be context with this and then we will have to create a list not sorry not linkage error list and list will be of type address and we can name it anything address list is also fine there. and what else we will need uh, okay so once we have it now we can uh, extract address list from this geocoder uh, there is a method called get from or oh no no i think it should be small geocoder the object not the and there is a method called uh, so if you see there are few methods get from location which takes input as a latitude longitude but we don't need that we need the second one uh, where we enter the name of the address and we get the uh, address uh, based on the name we get the complete address in return 
so we'll use this one and over here the first argument will be our address or the string which is captured in the edit text so that's what we'll use here edit text get text to string and then the second argument is the number of results the maximum number of results which you want so many times uh, if you have searched on google maps or apple maps they will return more than one address if it's similar to or there are uh, like there are many address which resembles to that string so you can enter like any value 2 or probably 4 or 8 it, and then you can sort out based on your which one you want but here i'll enter one because we'll just take the first one i just want to quickly show how you can do it but yeah you can play with this number and then you'll get a list of the addresses and then you can use your own filter mechanism to filter it out you surround it by, with try catch because i think there is chances of some exceptions here and once you have it then you can uh, pull out the uh, respective coordinates from this address list but before that what i will do is i'll just check whether this is null or not so if this is not null then only i will do certain activities activities as such like i will try to get the uh, yes i will try to get the latitude and longitude so get so get will be the like in this this is the list so i'll take the first index because we are just returning any with the one uh, address here so get zero and then on this get zero get latitude will return with the latitude but this will be of double type so let me first create a double lat equals to this one and also i'll do the same for longitude so double no 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 double long okay and we will use the same the above one get zero but in this case it will be get longitude oh yeah for sure okay so once we have it then uh, our i think most of our work is or job is already done we have to just now uh, the only thing is we have to print it in the text view so we can set text and then we can set as like the first one is what latitude and give some space plus and since it's a double so you may have to convert it uh, into a string dot value of and then you can give the double latitude so it will convert from double to string form and then the second one of before i enter the second one i can probably enter some kind of separator and longitude and what else string dot value of double long perfect so i think this should do my job that's all what i feel i will just run it and uh, wait for the emulator to come up so my emulator is coming i'll do one thing i'll just open it in parallel once my emulator is up So we will be waiting for the emulator to come up and I'll be showing it side by side. So let's wait for emulator to start the app. It may take a while uh, for the first time if you are running. Uh, so we'll have to wait. I'll just pause the video. Perfect. So I can see the emulator has come up uh, with the layout which we have designed. And uh, now we can start searching for address or so something like uh, probably London. Let me start with the somewhere around central coordinates you could have modified this text also uh, the initial text but i left it hello world anyway i can see once i entered london we get some coordinates wow great and i can also try some more places like of course we'll go and uh, search for final address as well but i just initially want to test it with some of the popular names in the world like uh, london new york new delhi and all so I'm not sure if it got updated, but I don't think this is a latitude. We can also check it. We can also check uh, whether this is correct or not. So what I'll do is I'll open a Google map. Let me open a Google map. Uh, yeah. And uh, let me search for the address. So what we are searching right now is New York. And uh, let me see what's the coordinates of New York. Okay. So yeah so you can see in the address bar over here it's 40 uh, is the land latitude and minus 74 is the longitude but that's not the address what we are getting so there's something wrong here definitely okay so i think i forgot to click on the button that's why so if you see 
no it's more or less correct uh, the previous one was london so let me check once again uh, with london so and if i entered london here yeah it's more or less 51 and it's almost zero so it's, it's fine i mean yeah it depends which location is precisely is being taken and that's that's where this max count comes i mean it will uh, if you just enter london it may be more than one uh, address which it returns and you may have to do a fine tuning on your own now let's let's search something more uh, 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 oh, let me search some of the other famous places across the world quickly so if i search new delhi here so this is same 28.52 and 27 or 76 this is fine tokyo so i'm just doing a test at the city level now i will go at one level further down uh, this is the last search of the city so this looks fine 35 and 139 35 and 137 yeah so of course it depends as i told now we let's search for some more finer uh address so like a statue of liberty that's a very precise point so i'm expecting it should be more accurate the output should be more accurate so if i search here also statue of liberty so i'm not sure here they are giving three or four options i think not it was not a status it was a statue yeah so uh, this is 40 and minus 24 40 and minus 24 so, yeah, so that's what i was saying if it's a precise address it will be more uh, accurate the output we can search something called as uh, probably uh, if, okay i'm starting from west and then going towards the east so eiffel tower will be another point which should be a very precise uh, latitude and longitude so if i search the same thing over here eiffel tower so if i click on coordinates so I'm getting 48.85 and uh, something like 2.29 and he also 2.28. Yeah, so it is more precise. I can search some of the other famous like pyramid or Taj Mahal and let me see what comes here. So this is around 27.175 and uh, 78. So this is very accurate. Yeah. So I'm, that's what I wanted to show and you can also do some kind of more accurate or more no. So say for example I search something called Crowning Street London Let me see what it returns So it returns something I search the same thing over here Browning Street London and i get some coordinate 51.5 and zero. so yeah you can keep going down and like you can search for your region location your state and your country and shit whatever and it will return you some location so this way you can verify uh whether the latitude and longitude is precise or not you can do other way also you can just whatever the address you get here you latitude longitude you get here you can put it in the google maps and try to check whether it's accurate or not but more or less just i wanted to show you it's very simple uh, you have to just use this geocoder uh, api and get from location and return you the complete address uh, in the address list and then you can extract the latitude and longitude from there so i hope this video is useful to you if you have uh, any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you